Hey everyone, welcome to Chaskova Engineering. I'm Ahmed Chaskova and this is another episode in this series for duty sketching. So in this video, I'm going to be making this sketch, this duty sketch here. And uh, I'm going to uh, give you detailed explanations on how I did what I did. So before we move on with the video, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel because that's what's going to support me in making new videos and uh, in delivering more videos to you and you can like uh, this video as well and you can leave me a, leave a comment if you have any questions so without any further ado i'm going to hop right into the video so the first thing i notice here in this sketch is that it is uh, symmetrical about this vertical axis so i only have to draw this one side and i'm going to use the mirror property to you know, copy it on the other mirror it on the other side as well uh, making use of the symmetry of the sketch. So I'm going to start off using the axis. I'm going to make this axis first, uh, right in the middle. And this point is going to be our, or this point is going to be our, uh, we call it the origin, this, this origin. So I'm going to make another sketch over here. And, yeah. And, yeah, so, yeah, so we have the basic thing here, basic axis ready. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, so I'll just make these axes as well. Before we move on. So it's easier if I, oops, it's easier if we make the axis first, so we don't have to draw them uh, later on in the uh, sketching process. So the distance between this and the, the central axis is going to be 80. 8, 0. Then we have the horizontal axis as well. So the distance between the lower axis, the horizontal axis to this axis is going to be 120 millimeters. Yep, I'll pin that down a bit. Yeah. Um, okay, what else do we need here? Yeah, I'm going to be needing this axis as well. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to make this central circle here. Uh, it's just going to serve as the basic structure. And the diameter of this is going to be 80. 80, there you go. And what else do we have? So I'm going to make these two concentric circles here as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ha I need a point here at the intersection of these two axes. So to do that, I'm going to go here at the, the point by clicking and I'm going to select this intersection point. So what this does is it basically selects the intersection point between uh, two elements or between two lines in this case. So I'm going to select the first line and the second line and it has created this um, point here. Um, so, but since this is a standard point, I'm going to be using the construction point because this point is not going to be used in our actual uh, drawing. It's only for construction purposes. So I'm going to select it as a construction element. And you can see that it has converted into a dot, which means that it is a construction um, point now. So I'm going to make a circle here. Deselect as uh, a, a standard element. So first of all, I'm going to make the outer circle, which is, whole, which is going to be 24 units uh, millimeters in diameter, and then the inner circle, which is 12 uh, millimeters in diameter. I'm going to do that. 12. Yeah. Okay. So now the distance between. Okay. Yeah. So the okay. I actually made the wrong. This distance is the distance between this axis to this axis. But since we are only make concerned with this, this half one half of the circle, one half of the sketch, so we're gonna divide this whole by two because it's split into two parts. So I'm gonna make that as 80 divided by two, which is gonna be 40. Uh, yeah, so that's right now. Okay, so yeah. <clears throat> now. Okay, so now we have this. I'm gonna make, start making this part of the 
sketch now. So I'm going to use the rectangle. I'll start drawing it here, right about here. I'm going to zoom out a bit and go sketch, pan it. And yeah, so. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make the corner, this corner, with the 14 millimeter radius. So I'm gonna select the corner tool, I'm gonna select these two sides to make a corner, and I'm gonna make it as 12. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna um, delete this constraint because these two sides. This, this constraint means these two sides are equal in length, but we don't need that. We want to delete that. I'm selecting, and the length of this side is 14. Here, uh, I'm going to make it 14. And the length of this side is 13. The distance between here and there. So, this has to be 15. And then we have a corner here uh, with a 4. Uh, millimeter radius. Uh, I'm going to do that again. It's going to be four. Move it a bit. Okay. Okay. What else do we need? We, yeah, we need one more line here. Right over here. Okay. That's enough. So, okay. One more thing is this line. So the distance between here and here, the total length is 100, but since we're only concerned, concerned with the one half of the whole sketch, so it's going to be 100 divided by 2, which is going to be one, uh, sorry, 50. So from here to here, it's going to be 100 divided by 2, it's going to be 50. And the distance between oh, from here to here is going to be 40. But what we, I can do is, and then I can bring that down here, and I can make these two coincident because we've already uh, constrained the axis. So there you go. Now it's fully constrained as well. Okay, what else? Um, okay, so we have this circular arc here. And this arc can be drawn by using the circle tool. Um, can make it so since this is going uh, tangentially, so I'm gonna have to make that tangential constraint as well. Uh, uh, maximize it a bit. I'm gonna use the uh, quick trim to trim this bit out. I'll so click it to keep it There you go. Okay. So this the uh, radius of this arc is gonna be ten millimeters. There we go. Okay. And at the distance between um, sorry. Okay. So the distance between Over here to here is not mentioned here, but I'm gonna use a arbitrary number because this is not constrained, so I'm gonna make it 60. Uh, just because it's not mentioned here, this drawing is apparently not fully constrained, so that's why I use that arbitrary number. But usually in your engineering drawings, it's gonna be fully constrained, so you don't have to worry about that. So I think our um, sketch is almost ready now. What else do we have here? Yes, we need this. Um, we call it this line here. So I'm going to start from here to here. Yep, this is fully constrained as well. Now, mm -hmm. the only thing is this um, circular arc. I'm going to use the circle constraint, uh, circle tool, sorry, and I'm going to have to make it. There you go. Just so we can straighten it off. I'm going to use the quick trim to trim off the, the parts that you'll need. And there you go. There we have the one half of the whole thing. So, yeah, so we got everything ready here. Uh, but we do still need this circle. Um, so, if you notice here, uh, the distance. So, 
since this is a diameter, so this is created out of a circle. So first of all, we're going to make two circles, a 40 diameter in radius first, and then a inner circle with a 26 diameter radius. So I'm going to make two circles here first. And I'm going to use the symmetry property in this as well, because, uh, and I'm going to make only one quarter of the whole thing. And I'm going to use the middle property to make the rest of the thing. And the rest is, and there is 26 millimeters. There we go. So, so we have this um, thing here. So the the uh, so the width of this is six millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small triangle, a rectangle. I'm sorry. I'm going to make it symmetrical about this axis. And I'm going to drag it down. I will make an intersection point between this circular arc and this uh, rectangle. So we have that. I'm going to make it as construction point. And same. Uh, you know what? OK, I'll uh, undo that, control that. Control that, control that, control that. Okay, so since I'm only going to be making one quarter of it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to only make one quarter and I'm going to repeat that two times to make a complete uh, sketch of this thing. So <clears throat> I'm going to make an intersection point over here. This one. So it's already construct, um, construction uh, point. I'm going to get rid of the this side. And we'll get rid of this side as well. There you go. And there. So, and the distance between this length and the central axis is going to be 3 because we're splitting into two parts. So, this has to be 3. Nice. And it's the same thing is going to go here. And we're going to get rid of the rest of the thing because we're going to use the mirror property and we don't have to do that again and again. So I'm going to do that same thing here. Oh, I don't have to draw the whole rectangle. I'm only going to make this. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so this is uh, the distance between this and the axis is going to be 3. Perfect. And I'm going to get rid of this and that. There you go. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I trimmed the wrong part. There you go. Okay, perfect. So, if you notice here, I'm gonna uh, mirror this whole thing. Um, over here, and then I'm going to mirror the whole, uh, the rest of the sketch on the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to select this bit, and then mirror that along this axis, like that. So we have this part over here, perfectly ready. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select the whole thing, and I can mirror that on the other side of the uh, the vertical axis. So I'm going to the mirror, select this axis, and there we have it. Like that. Just like that. So uh, what we learned from this video is that uh, whenever you are uh, log to start a sketch, just look for symmetries. You know, it's, it makes your life so much easier. Because that's what I usually do. I just look for symmetries and how I can exploit them and I just, you know, uh, develop those sketches. So yeah, uh, that's all for this video. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel because that's going to help support this, uh, support me make, in making and de delivering more videos to you. And you can uh, follow me on Instagram at Shaskaba and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.